Hello and welcome back everyone. So today we're working on the skyline a little bit further. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with an empty scene in Unity. And we're going to open up where we left off on the skyline, which I believe is this file. Yeah, that looks right. So I just want to focus on this building. So I'm going to select it in the scene view and then uh, hit the slash on the numpad. And that's just going to focus in on this guy. The next thing I want to do is find a texture, so I'm going to textures.com and searching skyscraper windows, and I want that one. Um, so you'll see this, and just gra grab the first image. And I already downloaded it, um, so it's in my it's in one of my folders on my computer. And uh, now if we grab this whole thing and you smart UV project, it allocates space in the UV editor over here. But now if we find our image, and uh, wh why don't we see what that looks like on the model. So we're going to go to compositing. Uh, we need to use nodes and then add a new material node. Then shift A, image texture, open glass. All right, so now if we look at this in material mode, we should be able to see that texture. And we don't. Why would that be? Material, texture, okay, well, we can just feed it into this. There we go. So you can see that um, broke a few places. So it doesn't look very good here. It doesn't look very good here. And it looks like some of these are upside down. Uh, I'm just guessing based on, like, there's, there's a light part at the bottom, and then here there's a light part at the top. So I... I that clearly did not do a very good job unwrapping. So we're going to jump back to the UV editing view. And uh, what I'm going to do is first I want to make multiple materials. So I'm actually going to go back to default and then over to this material tab and add another material. And I'm going to assign this second material to everything. So new, assign. And we're just going to make this gray for now. In, in Unity, we'll, we'll actually add a better texture here, probably. Um, but for now, we want all of the, the the metal parts on the building to use this second material. And then uh, what I'm going to do is go across each of these faces. And I, I need to hit the slash on the numpad to focus in on this. So I'm going to go through in face selection mode. So that's control tab for face selection. And I want to essentially uh, unwrap each face on its own. So I'm going to go to UV mapping and project from view. And then I'm going to, so I'm in right orthographic. So that's three and five. And then I'm just going to hit four and move around the object and unwrap each face one at a time. Project from view, view, project from view. And each time we're looking at the face head on. And I'm just gonna keep going until I'm sure I got them all. Now if I jump back to UV editing and hit the A key over here, you can see everything unwrapped and uh, if we go to material, we don't see this one yet, um, but we're going to assign that next. So what I want to do first is, uh, you'll notice from the image, there's these gray lines between the windows. So we're going to use an inset for that. So I'm, go I'm going to select all of the top faces and do an inset on them. So one two, three, four, I, and then 0 0.05, enter. And then I'm going to grab all the bottom faces. One, two, three, four. And then I'm going to jump back to my default view and assign the first material. So now we've got metal everywhere that there should be metal and windows everywhere that there should be windows. And all of the windows are actually um, oriented correctly up and down. So now I can save this. And in Unity, we're actually going to apply this material and scale it however we want. 
So I need to make sure I save that into my Unity project. So that's going to be Documents, GitHub, And if you guys want to download this file, everything that I put into the random small projects folder is on GitHub. Skyline, Skyline demo. All right, so that should pop up here soon enough. And I'm just going to drop it in, into my scene and set this to zero, 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 zero. And why don't we add a plane below it? Reset 1000, 1000. All right, so now we've got our buildings in the scene. And uh, I'm just going to rotate them so that they're in front of the camera. Something like that. And uh, I think it'll be easier to reposition the camera than to reposition the scene to line up with the camera. So I'm going to uh, move my scene view around until it's something like that, maybe. And why don't we stretch this out. Alright, so now that my scene view is where I want it to be, I'm going to grab my camera right here, and then go into Game Object and Align with View. And now the game camera is seeing the scene a little bit better. And I'm just going to move this up. And maybe change the field of view. And it's not perfect, uh, but it's relatively decent. Now I'm going to take all of these buildings and break them off of the Skyline Skyline demo prefab because right now, whoops, cancel that. Right now when I select the buildings, like let's say I want to click on this middle one, if I click on it, it's going to grab them all and then I have to click again to actually get the building, which which I just find very annoying. So I'm going to make that not happen. And I'll delete the Skyline demo empty and rename this first cube to uh, focal point. I have no idea what the actual building is called, so that'll work. A skyline demo. All right. So now we can actually go ahead and make the materials for this in Unity, and uh, collapse that. Okay. So I've already got a couple of textures. They're just not in my Unity project yet, so I need to grab those. So the first one is this Textures Calm High Rise Glass. And if I drop it directly onto the building, it's going to create a material in a folder, which I don't like. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And uh, I'm just going to keep everything in one folder, just so I don't have to keep jumping between folders. So this will be called Skyline Glass 1. And uh, now that I have it selected, I'm going to drop Textures Calm onto the Albedo slot. And now we can drop that onto the building. And uh, we, we're going to want a second material for this gray area. So I'm going to right click Material Metal. And just drop that directly onto the metal areas. And drag the color down like that. Why don't we look at the reference, reference image while we do this? So it, it's it's pretty shiny, um, but I'm not sure what the actual color is. It's it's probably relatively uh, dark actually. It's just it's just reflecting a lot of light. So maybe something like that'll work. And then to make it more reflective, we're going to bring up the metallic as well as the smoothness. And uh, right away we can see how the light is hitting it. That is really drawing attention to the faces here. This this should be relatively smooth. 
in the picture you can tell it's very rounded. So why don't we go ahead and fix that in Blender. And what I'm going to do is grab this whole thing and uh, how do we want to solve this? I think I'm going to break off the whole selection with P and then just add a subdivide. And uh, depending on how realistic you want it to be, you can do more views. And if you don't want these to subdivide as well, like we, we could do these manually. Why don't, why don't we do that? That's a, that's a better practice. So I'm going to Alt right click and Control B to bevel this. Alt right click and B, Control B for bevel. All right, so we smoothed that out a little bit, and now uh, we're going to want everything below this point. So I think we can break these vertices pretty easily. Where is that? I don't see that. So what I can do is Control-Alt-Right-Click. No, that didn't work. I wonder how effective it would be to simply subdivide these. W, subdivide, smooth. Oh, that actually worked pretty well. Okay, so we're not going to bother with the subdivision surface. So I actually could have kept this all as one model to do that, and that probably would have saved us a bit of time. So then I went ahead and grabbed both of the objects in object mode and then hit Control J to join them back together. So now this is all one object again. Um, but that might mess up our material mapping. Yeah, I did. It flipped it. That's mildly annoying. So back in Unity, grab the focal point and reassign the materials. So we've got sky glass 1. Now that goes into slot 2. And metal goes into slot 1. Sorry about that. Uh, now we're going to grab the sky glass 1 and set the tiling to something much higher. So 20 by 20. Uh, I like the way that looks visually, um, but it's not even close to the reference image. This this has a tiling of probably more like 60. But I think if we go that high, we're not going to be able to see the individual windows very well. So uh, do whatever you think looks best. Because um, you, you do lose a certain amount of detail if you tile it too far. And also, it looks to me like like the windows are pretty short. So I think we want it um, maybe scaled more in the Y direction. So we could do like 35 and 55. All right, that looks decent for now. So then we're going to go to the Skyline Glass 1. And we need to bring up the metallic and smoothness on this. And if the lighting in your scene is off, you can grab the sun. And if you just rotate it, it'll totally change the way the, the lighting hits the model. Um, another thing we can do is add a procedural skybox. So I'm going to right click and create material, skybox, skyline. And we're going to set this to procedural. So that's skybox, procedural, right here. And we're going to set that to the actual actual scene lighting. So that's going to be window, lighting, and settings. And drop the skybox skyline onto this skybox material. And now we can play with the atmosphere settings. So for instance, if we look up at the sun, Sun size can change. Sadly, that, that only changes this sprite right here. It doesn't actually affect the lighting on the scene. Uh, auto convergence. Just more changes to that sprite. Atmosphere, atmosphere thickness. This is a good one. Uh, 
but I think that leaving it at the default is um, closer to our reference image. But th this is definitely a fun one to play with. Uh, so we're going to leave that there. And then I'm going to set the exposure to like 1.7. And that, that's just going to make it a lot brighter. So the horizon is definitely too white, uh, but I'm going to leave that alone for now because I like the way it looks. All right, so in our scene view, why don't we look at this? The top looks a little bit too sharp on these edges, and uh, I think we need to rotate it. So in our reference image, one of the top triangles is almost facing the camera. But here we've got the bottom triangle facing the camera. So, so why don't we grab this building and rotate it to about there. And now that that's in place, I can see that the top is actually too small. So we're going to go back to Blender to fix that. And uh, I think that this building is also out of alignment. We want that to be like that. And this building's too tall. What, so why don't we scale the top of this building and this whole building right here in Blender. So for that, I'm going to hit 3, Z, B for box select, and uh, scale this whole thing out to about there. And when I do that, I'm going to hit Shift-Z. So S, Shift-Z, and then it's only, only going to scale on the X and Y axes. Save that. And then we're going to hit slash on the numpad to bring back all the other buildings. And this one needs to be scaled down. And when I do that, I don't want it to scale in on itself like that. I want it to scale local to the ground. So I'm just going to click on the bottom, change this to 3D cursor, and then scale down like that. There we go. And I think this one is too tall as well. Save one more time. All right, so we textured one building. We scaled some things around. We set up our lighting. And does the lighting look OK? Uh, from the reference image, we can't see any shadows on the ground, so it's a little bit hard to tell where the lighting is coming from. Uh, but we can tell it is coming from the right side, we just don't know exactly where on the right. This building is in shadow. So why don't we look at that. I think he needs to be rotated, like so. All right, that feels like a good stopping point. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, hit that like button. If you want to see more, subscribe. I hope you learned something today. Uh, the sky's the limit with game dev, so keep practicing, keep learning, keep honing your skills, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.